Guys, we're on brand new Bodark Lake. Look at this place. Man, this place is flooded right now. We got flooded bushes, flooded trees, flooded brush. Everything's flooded over here. But guess what? Them fish are gonna be shallow. We're gonna be probably gonna be flipping these bushes, maybe even try a striking popping perch, maybe a little frog action. Either way, I think we're gonna catch them really, really good today. Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That's a big one right there. <laughs> it's time for the only program that brings you real time fishing reports from the Southeast region every week. You ever caught a fish that big? No. <laughs> Got it. Now the day. Mm. There you go. Another redfish. Got, Got him. It. Now. That's what Let's Fish TV is all about right there, guys. Welcome to Bodark Lake. Guys, this place is special. It's brand new. It just filled up a couple of weeks ago and they just started letting the public out on it. It's about 16,000 acres. And honestly, there's not a lot of information on it because it's so brand new, no one really knows what to do. But I think we're gonna catch some fish, guys. We're gonna go mainly after black bass. We're gonna go fish really, really shallow. Like I said, since it's flooded, there's tons and tons of bushes and trees all in the raw water. Also, we'll have this week's fishing report from your local region, from our inside of reporters. For right now, I'm gonna go get the boat launched, get everything set up. While I do that, I'm gonna kick it back to the studio for your weekend planner. Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Fish TV. Thanks so much for joining us as we remember and honor our heroes this Memorial Day weekend. The Salooner Tables are predicting fair game fish activity throughout the holiday weekend. Look for the best fishing activity to kick off very early at 2.20 Saturday and 3.18 Sunday, 4.13 on Monday morning, with daytime action kicking off around 2.45 on Saturday and 3.43 Sunday and Monday afternoon at 4.38. Depending on your local area, expect the sun to rise around 6.24 and set around 8.28. Nights will have a moon that is 96% visible. Be sure to join Let's Fish TV on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to stay up to date with our latest fishing adventures, tips, and tricks. We are on Bodark Lake. It's a brand new lake. It's only been open for a couple of weeks now. I'd like to tell you a lot of information about it, but there's not much. Um, it just got filled up, so it's all brand new flooded, flooded bushes. We're going after largemouth bass today. I think we're gonna go try to flip in them bushes and, and catch some fish. It's about 16,000 acres. So it, it's big and small. It's fishing really big now because you're gonna see it is loaded with trees and bushes all over this place. But uh, I think we're gonna catch a lot of fish today, guys. So get ready for that. on there. I don't know if it is anymore. That's why we throw a big rod. First fish of the day. Didn't take too long. So anytime we're going fishing this flooded timber like this, flooded bushes, whatever it is, it's gonna be thick stuff. You gotta come prepared. So that means big rod, big reel, big line, big weight. And you know, you gotta get something to get them all out of there. A lot of these times like that one, you gotta flip right in the middle of it all. And even if they're not big, they're, they're still right in the middle. And so, you know, you gotta get every one of them out. The bigger ones are really gonna the bigger ones sometimes are actually the easier to get out because they'll, they'll make some commotion in there and, and work themselves out. Got him! Golly! That was awesome. I saw her come up and, and flashed on it and she missed it. I was reeling it in. And I just kind of dropped it back down and I saw her, oh man, man. 
I knew it was a big one. I saw her come up and flash. I'm like, dang it. When I dropped it back down, I saw her come back. A little bad one out of a willow tree. Oh, got my boat dirty. Hey y'all, Captain E here, and I wish I was on the water, but instead, I'm gonna give you a Carolina's report, and it's that time of the year. It is my favorite time of the year. You know, the spring and early summer can be incredible. We're talking about so many things going on, but my friends at Crazy Sister wanna make sure you get out and do a lot of those things. They can take care of all the work for you, from our private charter boats to getting down, getting on our head boat, the New England Princess. Visit crazysistermarina.com to book your trip. Let's talk salt water, and this is my favorite time of the year, you know. All this transition stuff, we got really good bait moving along the beach. We got big schools of Manhattan, and we've got the turtles are making their move up. We've got big stingrays making their move, and you know what's coming with them? Cobia. That's right. Get out there. Make sure, no matter what you're going to do, whether you're going to the near shore reef to chase Spanish, whether you're going to go to a little bit deeper and chase some gag grouper or scamps, make sure you've got a bucktail jig with some type of soft plastic rigged up, an artificial crab. Bring some eels with you. Anything to entice that cobia that swims up or that you see sight fishing on those schools of bait. I love to get out there and just go bait pod to bait pod, making sure we get some elevation, standing on the cooler, standing on the seat, getting on the T-top. If you can get a good perspective from above, you're gonna find a lot of stuff out there. Good pair of sunglasses. If you look for those schools of bait and you find him out there floating, pitch a bait, give him some time but it can be a great time. And also don't forget the king mackerel in North and South Carolina have shown up on the live bottoms, anywhere out there, 60, 80 foot of water right now, live bait or getting out with dead cigar minnows or ballyhoo, a drone spoon even, but you can catch some nice fish this time of the year. Hey, remember fish smarter, not harder and keep your chaos organized. That's pretty cool. That's that one that came up on the popping perch. Pretty good little fish. Here we are, Bodark Lake. Guys, it, what's crazy part about this lake, it's come up a bunch. Um, so they just opened it and then we had some floods over the last couple of days and it's come up way more. I, I think it might be even over pull. It's got some great fish in here. The numbers are insane right now. Like we've caught a ton of fish, probably 25, 30 fish already today. Hard to catch big ones right now. A lot of times it's hard to catch big ones when the lakes come up like that, it spreads them out. That's kind of what we're running with today. Still an awesome, fun day. You know, we've had some bites on the popping perch today. We've had some flipping. The, the popping perch bites today, I mean, we're seeing a lot more roll on it. And I think that's what's going on. I saw that fish roll on it earlier and I uh, didn't eat it. And then I caught one right there off that bush, but it took me a couple casts on that bush to catch one. When I got up close, I kind of saw a bright spot, realized it was on a bed. So we got a couple things. We got some post spawners, cause the one I caught right there was a post spawner. We still got some spawners. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those challenging times sometimes, especially with the lake coming up, but we're still getting a lot of bites. It's just. They're acting really, really strange today. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lorenz, the ultimate fishing system, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach Tourism, Let's Fish on Alabama's beaches, Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor, powered by passion. I got him. Oh, big one too. I'll stay on that tree.
Whew. I got him. Oh, big one too. Oh, stay on that tree. She ate it too that time. Oh, look at that big one. Woo, woo. Guys, look at that. That thing might be 18 inches and it's a five pounder. Look at the, look at how wide that thing is. So I don't really want to, I know that some things are going on up here. Texas Parks and Wildlife are stocking this place. And I heard there's something called like the Lone Star Bass or something. That's what they're stocking this thing with. They don't even look normal. They're so short, but they're so fat. And that one is a pre-spawner right there, guys. That's that's why they're hitting so soft. That, that fish hit once. I just kept on going pretty slow, walking it, just come back and ate it. Look at that, fish hadn't spawned yet. That is a four and a half to five pounder that is probably 18 and a half inches long. So, so many things go on this time of the year. We got a shad spot going on because the water's in the 70s. So I'm really trying to key in on some of these green bushes up here, but yet I still have pre-spawn bass biting. So either way, they're, they're moving up with the high water. We've got, we've got the green stuff in the water that the shad are spawning on. Yeah, we got some clouds, we got some wind, we got a lot going on. It's very hard sometimes this time of year to try to figure out what's going on in the terms of like, are you catching pre-spawners, spawners? I mean, I just caught a spawner over there, pre-spawners, the other one right before that was a post-spawner. I mean, it's, there's a lot going on this time of the year, but it's kind of cool when you can catch all of them at the same time. That means you're really on something. Bodark Lake, look, I mean, look around me, guys. This is, you're, you don't get to fish too many lakes that are new like this, that have all this new flooded stuff. And if you look out there, look at the trees. I mean, this goes on for miles, guys. It's an unbelievable place, pretty fun. Hey y'all, welcome to my favorite part of the show. This is the Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia Coastal Fishing Report. This segment's brought to you by me, Captain Patrick Garmison, our owner and runner of Ugly Fishing, uh, do a fishing guide service down here in Mobile Bay, Alabama, in Southwest Alabama. You can check out my website at uglyfishing.com. The Alabama waters have been just absolutely chock full of speckled trout. Uh, we can target speckled trout however we want to right now, whether it's soft plastics, hard baits, top water, popping corks, slip corks, free line, uh, live shrimp, croakers, pogies, they're eating just about anything that swims right now. Ronnie Daniels out of Pastor Christian, Mississippi, he's the fisherman guide service. He said that he's been using live croakers around the barrier islands, the grass beds and the uh, shell bottom area. Greg Hildreth out of Georgia said that the live shrimp under a slip cork around the creek mouse has been really good at producing speckled trout, sheephead, and black drum. He said that uh, mostly speckled trout, but the, uh, the slip cork has been the ticket with live shrimp. Thank you all for tuning in and keep in mind and my buddies from the Speckled Truth, keep what you need and leave the rest. Got her. Oh my God. <laughs> Same spot. Same spot, guys. There might be more of them in there. I don't know. A lot of times on these new lakes like this, they school up really, really good. Like you can catch a couple of them. Not many places you can throw back in there and catch back-to-back -back fish on a, on a pop and perch, but oh, I was not losing this fish. That pop and perch sticks them if you notice. I mean, I don't mind sticking them with that pop and perch and all this stuff. I mean, you're gonna land them if you, if you hook them good. I gotta get back in there. There's a good chance there's more of them, that's for sure.
There he is. Not a giant. But anytime I'm catching them like this, guys, if I can catch them on a frog every day of the year, that's what I'm gonna do every day of the year. There's nothing better than a frog blow up. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Have fun out there. Powerful, total boat control. Balls out, made in the USA. Heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. Rely on, challenge your limits. Got it. Good one too. Oh man. Another good one, man. Guys, we are out here on Bodark Lake. They are getting up there really, really shallow, guys. Uh, as you can tell, the water's come up a lot. And so, uh, you know, they're, they're getting up in that flooded stuff. They're getting up really, really shallow. A lot shallower than I was expecting. We're gonna get back after it, guys. We're catching, catching some good fish out here. I could have thrown my frog over there and freaking caught him. But maybe pick up a swim jig. Hadn't really thrown that. See if we can't get some bites on a swim jig real quick. Well guys, I, I switched up real quick to a swim jig, uh, just a regular old white swim jig with a white rage crawl on the back. I was, these fish seem to be really spread out at the moment and I don't really have a whole bunch of targets to throw at. So I'm just kind of reeling this thing really, really fast. I just really wanted to cover some water and uh, I'm starting to get some bites on it. So, I mean, I think they would, I think they would hit that frog just the same but I can cover a little bit more water right now with this. So I'm gonna stick with this just for a little bit. And if I get around some of those, you know, maybe a lot more bushes or things like that where I need to throw that frog, I'll throw that frog. And they're eating that swim jig. That was cool. I could see her waking on it, but she wouldn't eat it. She tracked it for a while and I had to kind of like slow it down real next to that bush. I figured she'd eventually just eat it. That was cool. It's really cool to see him wake like that. Got her. Good one too. Oh man. Get on in here. Oh my gosh. What a day on Bodark Lake. Guys, this has been an incredible day. Tons and tons of fish. Caught them on a frog, caught some sight fishing, caught some flipping. Um, man, what a day. Look at that fish. 
This is what Bodark has to offer, guys, man. It is, it is fishing really good right now. Just opened up right here in Northeast Texas. Like I said, come down here. Not much, not much uh, to know about this place, right? I mean, it just opened. So, man, it's, everything's new. I mean, look at the trees, look at everything around. It's pretty wild up here. All right, let's get this back. Guys, I hope, I hope you've enjoyed today, man. our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lake Hartwell Country. Catch the feeling. Lose, feel the difference. Strike King, tie one on. And by Glacier Outdoor, outdoors since 1982. Here's today's Right Stuff presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Today, one of the key baits was the Strike King pop and perch. You know, during the springtime, you get a lot of fish in a lot of different phases. You get pre-spawn, spawners, and post-spawn. And a lot of times that frog will catch all three of them. And it, as you can see, that's what kind of happened today. Uh, we caught post-spawners, we caught some big old fat pre-spawners. We even had some on beds. So a lot of times that, that pop and perch, will get all three of those. So that, that was kind of one of those things you, you could always throw in there. You can get any of those phases of fish. And with the flooded brush around, you're not gonna get hung up. It works through all that cover really well and you can really draw them out of that cover and have them eat that thing. And you don't lose them on it very much because you bring them up out of the cover when they bite. So you're not having to fight them in the cover. You already brought them out of the cover to get them to come eat it. So it's a really, really cool bait this time of the year. At the end of the day, I was really wanting to cover some water. Uh, we cut down this bank and there wasn't really a rhyme or reason for the fish. You just run into them. And I could cover a lot more water with the Basically, I just had a white uh, 3 8 ounce swim jig. Okay? It's uh, the Strike King Hack Attack Heavy Cover Swim Jig. And I had a, a big trailer on there. I had a, a white uh, Strike King Rage Crawl. And so uh, I just wanted something, like I said, I wanted something that they could see really well, come out of that cover and eat it. And man, it was really cool. I was really shocked at how they came out there and started waking on this thing. Uh, that was uh, pretty cool. I kind of wish I had figured it out a little bit earlier. Guys, these were our key players today. The Strike King Pop and Perch and the White Hack Attack 3 8 ounce Swim Jig. Uh, really caught a lot of fish today on these things. Uh, go check these out, get some. If you come up to Bodar Lake, I hope this helps you catch more fish when you come here. All right guys, that's a wrap. Thanks for joining us. I hope you learned how to find and catch more bass here on Bodark Lake. Until next time, good luck out there.